Hello, Veteran 0 and 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Dragon Quest 4. In between episodes, I rearranged my equipment. So yeah, we need to glean clues and suggestions, but uh, I already know where we're going to go, because, uh, like I said, I'm trying to get some better equipment. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to have Elena break down all the doors anymore. If we, if we, yeah, I mean that that's kind of funny, right? I mean, what do we need keys for anything? We can just have Elena bust the door down. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna be heading to the south part of the world, the south central part of the world. Uh, the, oh, I keep accidentally tapping that thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, I want to go southeast here. An ultra-violent ray. I love it. <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't really show that there's a town around this area, but there is. Hey, Spoonie. Basic ingredient? I ended up sealed away with him, huh? What ingredient would that be? Lots of monsters around, huh? <laughs> yes, Boria, we have a great ship. Our ship is amazing. And we get a mini medal. Alright. I'm not really keeping track of how many of those I have yet. Eventually, at some point, I probably will try to scour the world and search for all of them but right now I'm not gonna go out of my way to try and get everyone as soon as I can alright we get another seed of life by a gravestone wonderful gotta love that yeah I imagine all these uh, these places are closed are you open Flying machines. Sounds like a bit of a whacker, huh? Yeah, I kind of like this town. It's pretty cool how you explore it, you know, and w with your ship, basically. Alright, we get a gold bracer. I don't give a shit about it. Speaking of which... What do I have equipped? Meteorite bracer on you, meteorite bracer on you, meteorite bracer on you, and okay, cool. Just trying to make sure, and then I probably throw this Robo Serenity in the bag. Uh, yeah, I made a little bit of a flub explaining the Robo Serenity. Basically, the Robo Serenity uh, that that protects you against sleep and paralysis. It doesn't protect you against those status ailments. It protects you while you have one of those sta status ailments. So, for example. 
I think your defense increases uh, when you're in sleep or paralysis or something to that effect. So it, yeah, it's not very good actually. So yeah, I misread what the description was for it. It only protects you when you're afflicted with those status ailments. Which makes it not very good. I'd rather have the Cloak of Evasion. Well, hey, I'm sorry there, guy. Did I wake you up? You don't get very many customers? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make it daytime. I have things to buy. I cannot to buy them if it is nighttime. All right, we could buy some really, really good stuff here. Iron mask, we can equip that. Sophie can, although I don't think I care about that. Nobody can equip it anyways. I know Ragnar can equip it later on. Kirill can equip this iron helmet. Although I don't really think I care about that either. It doesn't have any special effects. Basically. I want to get a dragon shield. In fact, I want to get two of these dragon shields. As you can see, the, the hero can equip it. Ragnar can equip it also. But yeah, it helps protect against breath attacks. Which is really good. I think the iron shield does the same thing, except uh, I don't think it protects you as, uh, from as much damage. And if you pair the dragon shield with, like, say, the dragon mail, uh, it'll actually, I, I guess the effects stack from what I've heard, so that's really good. Uh, magic Vestment. Nobody can equip that shit, huh? Jeez. Really? That's horrible. It's not very good at all. Hardly anybody can equip that shit. Two people? Kiriol and Mina, and that's it. I'd rather have the liquid metal armor on them. But yeah, this Dragon Mail, really, really good at reducing the damage from breath attacks. I believe the Hero and Ragnar are the only two characters who can actually equip it. But yeah, that's what makes Ragnar so good in this game, is his equipment draw. I mean, he can equip some great shit. I don't care about the Dragon Mail so much, because I don't think I'm going to need that good of protection against breath attacks. I mean, if you want to pair the Dragon Mail with the Dragon Shield with fighting the, uh, the next hard boss you gotta fight, wink wink, to recruit the last character, then uh, go right ahead, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Oh. All I need is a gas that's lighter than the air though, and I need, an, oh, okay. Yeah, you're too focused on your bullshit religion. Another one. Yeah, right now my main focus is to get equipment so I can make myself really fucking strong to take on the next boss. Because the next boss <laughs> is no joke. I mean, he is a bitch. What kind of weapons do you have? Ooh, the Dragon's Bane. That is going to be pretty damn good. Yeah, look at that boost in attack power. It's going to Sophie. Nobody else can equip it. Oh, well. And we have a Dream Blade. Who can equip that? Not too many people. Okay. Oh, well, looks like Kirill and Mina are stuck with their crappy weapons. Yeah, with the Dragon's Bane, uh, it does extra damage to Dragon-type enemies, which is, uh, well, which is good. Really good. In fact, I think I'm gonna pick up another one. Why the hell not? I got plenty of gold. 
anything else I find that's better is I'm probably gonna end up finding anyways. I'll just throw that shit in the bag. And the Dream Blade, yeah, this sword may send its target to sleep from time to time. Apparently it's really good in the NES version, but uh, not as good in this version. Like, it doesn't proc as much, so... I mean, you could buy it, it's probably halfway decent, but I'm not gonna bother. So yeah, now that I have some decent equipment... I don't really care about helmet gear for uh, Sophie there. She, yeah, she got the TR, that's probably good enough. But yeah, now we're gonna head back to that uh, continent that's uh, over here. You know, that French continent with a uh, Palais de Leon or whatever the hell they call it. Oh shit, we're going too far north here. Get off the damn boat. I hate it when that happens. You're trying to get off the damn boat, and they won't get off the damn boat. We have some new enemies here. Strangler Fish and Tusketeer. Okay. Whatever. Let's kill them. Get off the boat! Thank you! Jeez! Whatever. I don't care about your memories. You're gonna make good memories now. So yeah, I, I don't have as nearly as much gold as uh, as I did before. I mean, I only have 40,000 left. I'm starting to run out of money. What are we going to do? What? Okay, I guess you could talk to this guy if you want another clue about the magic key, but I've already... Can I, can I fucking buy shit from you? You don't sell shit here anymore? You're not a weapon shop anymore? How do, how the hell do I buy stuff from you? I already have the magic key. What do you sell? Are you... Whatever, I guess you can't buy equipment here anymore because, uh... You just can't. Can you buy armor? You can buy armor here, you just can't buy weapons. See, I was thinking about buying another poison needle, but uh, apparently I'm going to have to buy it elsewhere because that dumb shit wants to sit there and talk about magic keys. Whatever. But yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm ready to take on this boss yet. But, uh, I don't know. I have some pretty good equipment. I mean, I got a dragon shield, liquid metal armor. How am I doing on... Oh, I don't know. I might be able to do it. This boss is pretty tough, though. I'm not going to lie. All right. I changed up my equipment just a little bit here. I gave Sophie the uh, dragon mail along with the dragon shield because the effects of both uh, equipments actually stack. And I'm going to need all the breath protection I can get from this, this next battle, at least with one character. And uh, the other characters, if I could equip that kind of stuff on them, I would totally get it for them. But as it is, I can't. The Dragon Mail, the only character that I have that can equip it right now is Sophie, which freaking sucks. Also, I'd give it to more characters. And if I had more equipment that had uh, breath protection, like dragon shields and whatever else is out there, like magical skirts and stuff like that. Then I would totally use it, but um, I guess we're just going to have to get by without it. Yeah, we got to get Balzac. 
And the construction of building... Oh, yeah. Resembles fortress. Yeah. Actually, wait. Hold on a second. I, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I forgot to mention. Yeah, I got Kirill up to level 15, and he now knows the buff spell. Which I think is pretty much mandatory for this next battle. Because uh, this guy hits really hard, and you need the defense, because this guy hits really, really hard. Also, you can get Fizzle on this boss as well, so if you want to nullify his spells, uh, you can. Otherwise, uh, the worst attack he's going to be doing is that Chili Breath attack. That attack sucks. Big time. And I really don't have any equipment that can combat it. I mean, that's what makes it so fucking hard. Other than Sophie equipping the dragon equipment, I don't have anybody. And yeah, this Chancellor is a real douchebag. Come quietly, or there will be trouble. Yeah, you can't stop Ragnar. No, he seems like a pretty good guy. Oh, knight. Wow, you can tell that just by looking at me? Jeez. I guess it's pretty easy to... to tell then, huh? Alright. Let's go in there and kick some ass. Wait a minute, this isn't Balzac. Who's the, who the hell is this guy? Yeah, we're not gonna shy away from this guy. Although we should, he's fucking hard. Okay. Oh, yeah, alright. Well, let's go beat this French bastard then. Oh darn. It's alright, we'll find Balzac if we kick your ass. Ooh. Yeah, this guy is, looks pretty tough. Too bad we don't have the Sphere of Silence anymore. Actually, I don't even think it will work on this guy anyways. But yeah, to start out, uh, yeah, I just have Sophie attack. I want Kirill to use Kabuff. That is pretty much mandatory. We gotta get our defense up. Mina, well, I guess all you're gonna do is attack. Oria, you need to get Accelerate on us. So we can act first. Okay, yeah, I'm not really concerned about magic damage so much. Alright. Yeah, let's see if I can get Fizzle on this guy. And... Yeah, you need to use... Heal. Not mid-heal. Well, maybe mid-heal. Nah, just use heal on Boria. Well... I'll just make sure it's maximum. She's got plenty of MP. And Boria, you need to cast the the sap spell. Yeah, lower this guy's defense. There we go. Alright. So yeah, you want to try and nullify this guy's spells and to nullify his physical attacks, use Kabuff. I would have to say that that spell is pretty mandatory for this fight, no matter what kind of equipment you have. He hasn't even done that breath attack yet, so I've been lucky. Alright, Kirill, you need to... Let's see if we can get Dazzle on this guy. I mean, yeah, I don't think... Well, no, Kirill, you just need to attack now. Or heal somebody. Actually, yeah, you heal Sophie. Mina... Uh, you attack. Oria, you start casting Crackle. Oh, shit. Damn. 
Come on, Boria, you gotta block those attacks. Maybe I should use Kabuff again. But yeah, I've been really lucky that he hasn't used that fucking Chili Breath so far. I've been pretty lucky with that. Alright, you need to cast Heal on... Wait, no, 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 no. Bad. You need to cast Kabuff again. Or maybe, better yet, go back. Just use Buff. Just use Buff on freaking Boria. And... Yeah, you need to heal Boria. I don't want Boria to die. And yeah, that is going to hurt a lot. That shit sucks. And yeah, it doesn't hurt Sophie that much because of the dragon equipment. Alright, Sophie, you need to freaking heal Boria. Kirio, you need to heal yourself. Everybody needs to heal themselves. Too bad I don't have, like, a uh, multi-targeting healing spell right now. That would be so nice for this battle. Boria, you just need to cast Grackle. So you can at least get some damage in this round. Uh-oh, Frizzle wore off. Alright. Sophie, you attack. Frizzle, yeah, I want to get that, or Fizzle, I should say. Get that back on him if it's possible. I mean, it might not work, so hopefully it does. Yeah, do you just, Mina, you just attack. And Crackle again. Ow! I hate that chilly breath. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> That's horrible. I hate that. Uh oh, agility's back to normal. That's not good. Hmm. Do I need another Kabuff? I think I do. Sophie, you attack. Curiel, you use Kabuff again. We need to use it again here. Mina, mid heal. Curiel? And Crackle again. There we go. Alright. Sophie, you need to attack. Kirio, you need to heal Sophie. Mina, you attack. And Boria, use crack. Aw, oh, that fucking... Fizzle wore off right before he was going to use those spells. What a crack. Alright, so I got to get it back on him again to nullify some of that crap. Yeah, so far it's, the spell has been pretty good. It's worked very well for me. Alright. Uh, you attack. Crackle again. Got to keep dealing damage to this guy. Isn't affected. Damn, that sucks. Ah, still not as bad as his chili breath, though. That's a hell of a lot worse. All right, Kirio, you need to keep Boria's HP up, or no, no, you need to cat keep trying to put Fizzle on this guy. Keep trying to put Fizzle on this guy. You heal Boria. In fact, use a mid heal just in case. And crack. There we go. All right, and we got him. And we get 5,100 experience. All right. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Dragon Mail and the Dragon Shield for this guy on, on Hero because that will nullify a lot of the damage from those breath attacks. And uh, I did get kind of lucky with the boss not using them very often. 
Because if he starts spamming that chilly breath, I mean, you're basically screwed. But yeah, we're going to be getting... Ooh, there you go, mid-heal. <laughs> you know, learns to snooze. That's uh, sleep on uh, group enemies. And he learns TikTok, which uh, actually cures the... Um, what is it? The fucking sleep status. And I think tingle is paralysis. So if I... If I said Tingle was sleep before, then I misspoke, so my bad. And it's too bad that Ragnar cannot participate in this experience gathering right now. That's alright. And we get a full plate armor, but that's I'm not going to be equipping that on Ragnar because I have something better. Yeah, I did purchase another uh, liquid metal armor off-screen for, for Ragnar. I didn't show it. Yeah, we saved you from... Wow, you're not speaking French anymore. Well, Ragnar's impressed. And one of my favorite characters in this game, if not my favorite character, Ragnar, joins the party. And he is going straight into my, <laughs> into my party. Yeah, I really like Ragnar. I mean, some people like Elena, you know, uh, once you get her, like, the twin falcon earrings or whatever, but I like Ragnar. I like Ragnar because of his equipment. He can equip some really good stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, he's definitely going to be helpful, for sure. Very beneficial. Alright, now that that's done, let's go over here and talk to the Chancellor. Zut alors, you have defeated the Marquis. Ooh la la, don't hurt, I mean, please don't hurt me. The Marquis forced me to be his Chancellor and he forced me to speak like that. Oh, if I wasn't such a coward, I could have helped you all! Wait, perhaps I still can. Did you know that Balzac has taken up residence in Zamovska? Really? Elena's hometown, huh? Or home... or hometown. Home kingdom, I should say. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to investigate. We gotta kick that asshole's ass for uh, Mina and Maya's sake, you know? Tell him that I ooze him one? <laughs> Yeah, we should put Ragnar in our party, you know? We should totally do that. And yeah, after we get all our party members, we get different overworld music. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Absolutely. So yeah. Where's Ragnar? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's going to my party. And then it's probably going to be Kirill. And I like Borea. A little bit better than Maya. I don't know. There's probably instances where I'll switch out Borea for Maya, but I like Borea. Not a huge fan of Maya. I mean, she's not bad. She's definitely okay. Elena? 
Right now, I don't have good equipment for her. I mean, she needs certain equipment to be halfway decent, which I don't have. Oops. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. From lineup. All right. Oh yeah, he's a he's a great physical specimen for sure. Absolutely, Ragnar. I totally agree. Let's talk to your buddy. Where's your buddy at? Where'd he go? Where'd Healy go? Wow, how am I supposed to talk to Healy with, uh, with Ragnar if Healy's not even around? Oh well. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest IV. In the next episode, I have no idea where we're going to be going next. Uh, well, actually, we might go back to Zamaska. We might go somewhere else. I don't really know. But there's a lot of things we could do at this point. This is Veteran 021. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.